Alright, it's been a long time, but I was in California again studying, and now I am back. Um, back a little earlier because of this um, pandemic issue, but um, basically I haven't been able to film a video since I was there because I never have time, and so now I'm back. I have lots of time. I'm going to start making videos again. Um, that always happens. I leave and I don't make videos, and then I come back and I start making a few more videos, but anyway. Um, my orchids have been doing well because they were in the greenhouse, and I did have someone take care of them while I was gone, and they won't act the same as they would regularly in your care, but for someone else taking care of them for seven months, they are doing fantastic. Like, not even one orchid has died. So... We'll start with this one. Like, what I mean is, like, if it was in my care, I would know not to open a window because it'll get bud blast right. But this one ended up getting bud blast, but it did put out some more buds at the end. And then um, the spikes were all staked straight up because they thought they were supposed to go straight up, not arch. But um, the result of that is a few blooms were upside down not even a problem at all they're just i'm just glad they're all not even just alive but like thriving like they all have buds and blooms so this one is the one that was in water culture and i potted it and it has blooms this one is in water culture as well hasn't bloomed and i'm suspecting it needs a bigger pot because i shoved it in this little cup um but it looks healthy. It was dying when I put it in water culture initially. Um, then I have this orchid that just keeps getting, I don't know, it starts looking better, then it starts looking worse. It dries up really fast. Um, but this was the leaf it grew last year in the greenhouse, so it was bigger than the last one, so it was doing fine. But I guess in the house it doesn't like it, so. Um, then this spike ended up snapping, but um, it's still growing. It has three. Not as many as last year, but it's fine. Um, this one had as many as last year, but then the buds blasted. So now it only has three, but it has more at the end. And then this orchid here is the one in the clay. And it has a secondary spike. And then my epidendrum. Well, this is one of them. Um, it has a new cane and some blooms. And a new spike as well. It was cakey. That's crazy. And then I have my Vanda, which is not liking the house. It dropped the leaves and it's not growing really. It's kind of dehydrated as well. So once it goes outside, um, it'll probably look a little bit better, but I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know if that'll ever bloom again. <laughs> and now I'm just going to go over the other plants I have in my room. So I have this money plant, it's always looking fine. I have this arrowhead vine that once I repotted it, it just went crazy. I have um, this weeping fig, it's doing okay. This um, dragon tree, Dracenia, when I put it out last year, it dropped all its leaves, but then it grew them back, so it's fine. Um, Italy fig tree is doing fine. This is easy plant cutting. They put out another growth, so it's starting to grow. Then my spider plant is doing really well. Um, I think it likes the bigger pot that I potted it in because it is starting to really get bigger. So yeah, that was it's really doing well. These shamrock plants I'm going to separate when I put them outside. Um, but I really like the purple one. Um, this Rio vine or Main Valley of vine. Oh, shoot. Um, it's red. And I brought it in the house because, um, I didn't want it to die over winter. I have to clean up all that soil I dropped. So basically, uh, when I came back, all the vines are everywhere and I had to trim them down because they were literally taking over. And, oh, I have one more orchid. Oncidium. 
Um, basically, I don't know why every time I have oncidiums they grow smaller, like the new growth. So, the new growth in this one is definitely smaller. Or like stressed looking. Look at the small one back here. I have no idea what to do. But hopefully once it's in the greenhouse again, it'll look a little bit better. So, I have another bunch of orchids in the other room that are blooming. I'm going to go there. So, this is the other one that was really stressed last year. It still put out some blooms, and it, have, it has the, um, the cool edges, and one bloom is almost done. Then I have this light pink one that has a stem on it, so that's about to bloom. The bed's already made. Um, but um, this other mini orchid, just like the other one in the other room, we bought them at the same time, they were on discount. But um, it's starting to finish. Money plant cutting from the other one in the other room. And the other epidendrum. They both came in the same pot, but I separated them. And this one has a new spike. Um, Bathkin vats are the only thing that did not do well while I was gone. The purple and white one I had for a long time ended up just dying. Um, and then the purple one's not looking good. And then the pink one, I cut the main trunk because it was dead. But there's a mini offset, so hopefully that pulls through. And I do have more orchids in the other part of the house. Let me go there. Okay, and the orchids that were in the other parts of the house, um, I had to move down so that because they were not on a high shelf. But they mainly consist of my dendrobiums and my two cattleyas and two other plants. But first the dendrobiums, um, they did actually bloom um, over winter while I was gone. And I do have some pictures of that. But this one has, um, ever since it's small cane, it doesn't have any new canes. Um, this is the cane that grew for me last, last summer and that is the one that bloomed. And then this is the other dendrobium that was in the same pot as the big one. I'm watering them right now, so their their pots are filled with water. But um, this dendrobium was actually with this one in its original pot. It was just that one cane. And then it put out this cane, and now it has two new canes. So... This one's doing really well. I think that one should be blooming soon. And then these are the keikis that were on the mother plant. So these are all the same dendrobium. So this one is putting out a, another cane. So that's good. This keiki is growing, but this one has not put out any new things since I detached it from the mother plant. Just new roots, that's about it. Then the Cattleya. This Cattleya is the only orchid that's been doing bad since I've gotten back. All the leaves fell off. It has a few new roots and a new growth, but everything else died. I have no idea what's going on with it, but that was my favorite one. That I got from the orchid show. But I guess that's what I get for leaving for so long. And then the yellow one that I got from the orchid show is doing really well. Um, it put out this new cane. It has something in there, but I think it's about to dry up. And it did grow smaller than the last cane because it was in the house. Then it put out another cane, and I think it was broken while I was gone. But it does have a new one here, so I just have to clean this part off. Yeah, I'll open that part off later. But it does have a new bulb, and yeah. Other than that, it's the same. Two other plants I have are a fuchsia that I didn't want to die over winter, and I just forgot to water it, so it's soaking. And a calanchoe, which is um, kind of like yellowish, yellowish, orangish, brownish. And I did not want that to die either, so I'm going to put those back outside once it warms up. 